We are just days away from the first day of school, and this Labor Day weekend, Rochester schools still do not have enough bus drivers. They say last-minute news from local contractors caused a spiral into crisis mode, and now they need over 70 drivers. Eric Cost has been following this story the last several days and joins us live now with the latest from the superintendent, Eric And Jack, the superintendent's proposal to send grades 9 through 12 back to virtual learning for the start of the year caused an emotional 24 hours for everyone involved. But today she's reminding everyone that is just a proposal. She says it's her intention and hope to bring all students back as planned. It really does take the entire village or in our case, our entire city, our entire county. Superintendent Dr. Leslie Myers Small says this is a crisis she isn't handling alone. She says there's been many conversations in the past 24 hours, some taking place with regional transit service. We're asking, can they help us fill the, the routes that we don't have covered due to the shortage? But still no decisions. Parents like Christopher Williams are left wondering what to do. They're just like, Dad, what's going on? Because they, they, they're not a fan of going back to remote learning. Remote learning is the big question right now. Under the superintendent's proposal, grades 9 through 12 would be virtual for the start of the year. And it's a lot to ask of parents to kind of be teachers when that's not what they've been um, in a teaching capacity. Students entering their senior year, like Isaiah Santiago, are fearful of this becoming a reality. The end of my 10th grade year was remote. All of my 11th grade year was remote. And this is my last year in high school. I'm in fear of drama. And unfortunately, because of COVID, I haven't been able to be a part of any of the plays or the musicals. So that's what I'm saying. I haven't really been able to have an experience. Looks like we'll be hearing a lot more answers tomorrow at the public board meeting taking place 6.30 p.m. Uh, we will be attending and updating our viewers on social media and right here on News 8. So be sure to stay tuned. Jack.